Top prosecutor is criticizing the actions her senior advisor is taking as he's paying bond to let some suspects out of jail. Good evening. Police often complain about the revolving door that puts criminals back on the street shortly after they arrest them. Recently, dramatic bail reforms at New Orleans criminal court have been turning that age old complaint into an everyday reality. Tonight in our ongoing series, Bailout investigative reporter Mike Perlstein is highlighting controversial cases in which suspects were released, but also how one high ranking city hall official is playing a key role in getting hundreds of criminal suspects out of jail. All over the country, criminal justice officials are rethinking the concept of bail. More and more suspects are being released on low bail or no bail. It is expensive to detain folks. It is harmful to community. New Orleans is in the middle of its own bold experiment. As we revealed earlier, bail amounts for felony suspects are being set as low as $200, 100 even $50, five to ten times lower than traditional bail amounts. The program is in its early stages, but Chief Public Defender Derwin Bunton says the results are promising. Because when you look at our jail population, it is going down without any uh, appreciable or any increase in our crime rate. Bunton admits the program is relatively new and more information needs to be gathered. But that hasn't stopped some cases from getting sharp criticism, like robbery suspect Gino McDowell released after posting a $25,000 bail bond only to allegedly return to the victim's store and threaten to kill him. Bail was set after that second arrest at only $200. So you're essentially seeing as a, as a movement that has turned the accused into a victim. Even after we found dozens of bail amounts set at less than an average traffic ticket, we found some even lower. Here's bail set at $1. Yes, a single dollar for aggravated assault suspect Daniel Bonney. Earlier this year, he pleaded guilty to that charge, but has since racked up three more convictions, including aggravated battery for slicing another man with a knife. Bonney is now on probation and did not show up for his most recent scheduled court appearance. I cannot for the life of me understand how some of these bonds are being set. But even with bail at a dollar, Bonnie didn't have to pay it. That's because of a little known program that paid his bail for him. It's called the Freedom Fund, and the activists who run it use donations to pay cash bail for arrestees. So far, records show the fund has paid more than $200,000 to spring more than 200 defendants. But if there is a total outside group, some agency who we really don't know anything about is simply posting the bond for the individual, then it gives the defendant no reason, uh, it gives him no incentive to show up. The man who launched the Freedom Fund is Joshua Cox, a senior advisor to Mayor LaToya Cantrell. At a salary of $110,000 a year, his title is Director of Strategic Initiatives. It's extremely disturbing and I guess my question is why? Why are you doing this? Is this like a true get out of jail free card? Well, I mean, think about it. It absolutely is a get out of jail free card. Cox was not made available for comment, but the mayor's press secretary issued this statement. Mayor Cantrell has complete faith in Mr. Cox and no objection to the work he does independently with the Freedom Fund on his own time. So the same city that arrests people is now going to make sure that they put them right back out through their through New Orleans, through City Hall bail bonds. Court records show Cox has personally paid cash bail for more than a dozen defendants. The majority were paid by the other fund organizer working out of the same Poydras Street address, local educator and innovator Jennifer Schneidman Medbury. The pair works with the public defender's office to determine which suspects are good candidates for a free release. But some choices are drawing criticism. That makes no sense. I, I, I can't envision a person who would think that that is an example of where the system is working. As a matter of fact, it's clearly an example of where the system has broken down. Take the case of Deshaun Jefferson. Cox posted his cash bail of $2,500 after a crack cocaine arrest, even though Jefferson was already on probation for an earlier theft conviction. Then there's Lance Lewis, arrested in May on a charge of third-degree rape. Cox paid $5,000 to get him out. We should be very worried in this city with what you're finding here. This should be very worried. This is not a low-risk, first-time, nonviolent offender. This is a rape charge. 
$5,000, not an insignificant bail amount, on a third degree rape paid for by Joshua Cox, senior advisor to the mayor. That's truly disturbing. I think uh, the mayor has an obligation to explain why that's happening. Again, City Hall would not make the mayor available to answer questions about this program or her director, Joshua Cox, but we will continue to try to get a hold of her for answers. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. We also reached out to other Freedom Fund organizers for an interview. We hope to get their perspective in future segments of our bailout series.